In a mechanized world of typewriters and presses, the art of penmanship still survives and will continue to do so as long as Mr. William Bishop of Fulham Road, London is around. For Mr. Bishop is an expert on pens, bone pens, quill pens and quill pen cutters. The best quills, says Mr. Bishop, are those from geese, or better still, from turkeys. And he ought to know, for he's a member of the Society of Scribes and Illuminators, the only society of its kind in the world. Being an expert, he likes to be known by his proper name, a calligrapher. Many overseas countries send work here, and can you wonder when you see the sureness and skill with which it is done? In his 2,000 pound collection, gathered over the last 20 years, there are pens of all descriptions. Some for fine, spidery writing, others for bold, thick writing, and yet more for the beautiful illuminated scroll work we saw just now. Here's an unusual one, in the form of a watch chain. The pieces fit together to form a perfect pen. Quaint pen holders of horn and silver, gold, ivory and precious stones. There's even a pen for nervous or trembling fingers that gives the holder a mild electric shock. Here's a natty little gadget. The quill is put in and cut at exactly the right angle. Then the blade inside is pushed out which gives the final sharpening. Pens of all types and ages, the earliest dating from 100 BC. Another hobby, another craft, and another contribution to Britain's export problems.